Hey drummers, hope you're doing well. Shout out to superstar channel member Becky who's working on this. This is a little drum fill or even drum solo idea based on single stroke roll. Age old classic principles at the heart of the teaching that I do. I think at the heart of playing the drums in contemporary music. This is one bar long, single stroke roll. So if you're right handed, right, left, 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 right, left. There's 16th notes or semi quavers, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. And here we're playing an all time classic foot pattern, a bit of boom chick. That is bass drum four on the floor, bass drum on the beat, hi hat playing with your foot on the and. One and two and three and and so putting those two things together one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a these are real quiet notes we're playing here unaccented notes that basically as quiet as you can play and still play cleanly and i think this is a massive cornerstone of all pop rock soul r&b whatever drumming to be honest this thing here one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. starting here and we're using the age-old principle of placing accents within that roll, some notes louder than others, to give it musical shape. And again, I just think you can go so, so far with that by just... Instantly, it's music, isn't it? As soon as those accents start to fall into place. Now, I've got various videos about building this sort of set of core skills on the drums up. Uh, a good place to start, I think, is just playing a basic drill where you play that role and you accent on the beat, like on the E, so to speak, which would be with your left stick if you're right-handed, on the and, and then on the R, which would also be with your left stick. So one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a four E and a. To cut a very long story short, I'll link to the video about that below. Various videos about that, and there's all sorts of skill, all sorts of drills and things you can do to build that skill up. So that. All that lovely skill building would come first, but then what? once you've got that set of skills, you're like, right, let's go. Let's have some musical examples. Ultimately, working towards the point where we can obviously be creative. That's the point of all of this stuff is work towards that point of doing our own thing. Here's a drum, drum fill idea, though, based on those skills. It's going to go. So like I said at the start, it's one bar long. It's 16th notes. The accents are on one E. So the first two hits, which of course is right, left. Remember, I can't repeat it enough times. This is a single stroke roll all the way. So one stick, then the other. One E and a, two E and a. So the cool bit is you play those two accents again, but this the second time you do it, they're halfway through the beat. They're on the and, a, and a. One E and a, two E and a. And then at the end, after one E and a two E and a three E and a four E, we're going to go three E and a on beat three. As you'll see below, they're just the accent is just on the and. That'll be with your right stick if you're right-handed. And then four E and three big accents to finish off. One thing you could do if you're building it up is play just the first two accents for a bit. One E and a two E and a. And again, contrast is king like dynamic contrast between the whipped accents and the super quiet, ghosty, unaccented notes. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a... Second set of accents. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E. I'll slow it down. Two E and a three E and a four E and a... So get on beat three, three E and a, uh, and then four. Never break the flow of single strokes. Right, right, left, right, left. I'll go real slow. We'll work it, roll it around a few times. And a two E and a three E and a three E and a So as a drum fill idea.
Here we go. Well, like I said at the start, even as the basis for a drum solo type idea, a little bit of soloistic playing, these these ideas can be brilliant for being at the heart of a, a solo, give, giving you some, some bass to work from. So as ever, take it slow, make sure you're working on the skills first, build up the basic drills and that kind of stuff. Age old advice on this channel, but like, yeah, do your, do your drills, put your body, build up the, put to the point where you can trust your body, your hands and your feet and your brain working together to actually execute the thing. Make sure you've got quiet, quiet, unaccented notes versus those beautiful whipped accent notes. And this is just yet another example of a great idea, for a great musical example that you could then work with. Shout out to Becky as ever on the channel members page right now, you'll find a notation and a full practice along version. You can slow right down, groove along with. Don't, don't forget the boom chick foot pattern. See you soon.